Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Lida. I am the chair for the Council for General Music Education for the National Association for Music Education. I'm joined today by Jen Kaufman and Becky Halliday that are also, they are also members of the Council for General Music Education. I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Jen Kaufman. I am serving as an Eastern representative and I live in Maryland. And I'm Becky Halliday and I'm a member at large and I live in Alabama. Well, we are here today to talk to you a little bit about the general music guidance that has been created as part of the phase two reopening uh, the document created in conjunction with the National Association for Music Education and the National Federation of High School Associations. When we began this process a few months ago of thinking about what re-entry would look like for music classrooms in the fall of 2021, we decided that the curriculum considerations that you needed to think about had to do with instruments, movement, programs, singing, and technology. So before we get started, I just thought it would be good if we went around and, and told you a little bit about our teaching situation and maybe um, what's one of the challenges that you had this year. So I'll, I'll start. I teach kindergarten through second grade music. And really my biggest challenge was pushing the cart around and finding ways to teach in the classroom. I was face to face the entire school year from August until May. Um, and I also taught virtual lessons in addition to my face-to-face -face for my kids that chose the virtual option. Jen, how, what modality were you teaching in this year? So we started with the virtual uh, meeting with the students once a week, and then we moved into our hybrid slash, slash virtual. So with our hybrid, our students were in their classroom and videoing into my music classroom. And then the virtual students were videoing into my classroom as well. What was what would you say was the biggest challenge you faced this school year? Biggest challenge I would say would be um, experimenting, being willing to experiment with the students, giving them opportunities to find sounds, um, even if it was their desk, um, and maybe annoying their classroom teacher a little bit. <laughs> All right, and Becky, what uh, what modality did you teach in this school year? Well, I teach pre-K through sixth grade general music and our students were um, not to leave their classroom. So I went um, class to class and sometimes my class is backed up against lunch. And so I would be kind of wrapping up my lesson and the lunch people would bring in their food and things like that, which was fine. Um, I guess my biggest challenge was space and finding ways to um, even, first of all, get my, my little wagon into the room, let alone, you know, navigating the students in being in such a small personal space. So that was a little tough for, for me. I love to do a lot of movement and it was a little, uh, um, had to get kind of creative in how to play some games. Yeah. Well, if, as you can see below, there are um, clickable links for instruments, movement, programs, singing, and technology. Now, as we went through and created each one of these documents, we thought about these challenges that we all had in our classrooms. And we also spoke to colleagues that were in different situations than we were in to see what their challenges were to get advice. Now, it's important to remember that these are recommendations. And so we will say, consider, instead of telling you thou shalt do this. Um, we want you to consider some things as you're thinking about planning your return to whatever music teaching is going to look like for you in your teaching situation next year. So when you open the links, you will see that, uh, like, for instance, the one for instruments and, well, all of them um, are going to give you four teaching modalities. One is face-to-face. -face, the second one is hybrid. The third one is virtual. And then also we decided that Many, uh, many of you might still be teaching on a cart next year, so we gave you options and considerations for teaching on a cart. So we hope that you will look at these and that they will be useful to you as you plan your instruction in the fall. One question that we've already received has to do with singing, and um, we will tell you that even though we know some of the CDC guidance has changed in recent weeks, the latest research from um, the, the Colorado Aerosol Study is what we were uh, used and consulted as we 
uh, develop the singing considerations uh, moving forward. Are, do you have any final thoughts, Becky or Jen, that you want to, to leave with people as they begin to plan for next year? As we look, as, as we look toward uh, planning for next fall, thinking about how we can uh, present what the students have learned uh, through some kind of a showcase or, or presentation of learning, uh, whether it's virtual or whether it's in person, maybe we can't do big assemblies, but we can adapt that and do it from our classroom and zoom into other classrooms. So be creative and be willing to try new things still. And I would also say, be patient with yourself and be, you know, be patient with your students, obviously, because you're not going to be coming back and starting on the same plain as you would be if you were coming off of a typical school year. So be kind to yourself and um, give yourself some grace because things are going to be still going to be different, but you know, you're, you're going to be back to, I'm going to say normal like this <laughs> before we know it, this will be in the rear view mirror. So have a great school year. And as always, as you plan, like, like Becky said, and uh, give yourself grace. Um, remember that you are the best music teacher that your students have at this moment and uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to your students. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always reach out to any of us on the Council for General Music Education. We represent you and we want to hear from you. Um, good luck and uh, be in touch and we will talk to you soon. Bye.